I've always been here. Dirty trash, Cyclops. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut What is going on here? The other kids, they... they said I was a... a filthy one -er. She is! She's not a sixer, like us. Oh, ho, ho. the dice doesn't lie, children. Y yeah, but, but she was just lucky. She's a one -er. You can smell it on her. Oh, you think? You're smarter than the black dice! Um, uh, I mean, no, I, I just... Oh, so now you're saying she is a sixer after all, so you've lied to me either way! Um, uh, I mean... Lying should be punished, Odd, don't you agree? You don't have to, I was just... Now, now, there's no room for pity. Either everything's fair, or nothing is! Ugh! Ah! Uh, a water! Off to the garbage for you! I'm not garbage! Well, agree to disagree, love. Uh. What's this? Lunchbox? Ha! A living lunchbox! <coughs> Monster! I'm gonna tell the mayor! <coughs> Well, we're here. Let's see where here is, Dicey. Even had a feeling, call it a hint, that her new friend Dicey would be able to open that door for her. All it would take would be a roll or two. I was just going to say that, but what did it want? Did you hear? The new moon is finished! It is wonderful to finally look up at the sky at night and see two perfect moons. When it comes to the new moon, I am of two minds. And they both love it. Oh, have you come to see our new moon? Oh, you're in for a treat. Good morning, world! 
It's a beautiful day! My favorite kind! Any second now. Oh, curse it too. <sighs> Though I suppose you can't have the sweet without the sour. <clears throat> Attention to town. Now hear this. The queen has rolled a tomb. I repeat, the queen has rolled a tomb. Her will is now manifest. Long may she reign. Random rules. Oh, a two! What a delightful... Way to make a perfectly awful day even worse. <sighs> Another dreary day, everyone. Just muddle through this horrid life until death finally claims us. You don't belong here. Oi! What are you looking at? You heard me. We've got enough problems here without strange weirdos wandering around town. You are. I seen you in the dice got rolled. You didn't change a bit. That tells us you're not from Two Town. I reckon you're a wanna, and you don't belong here. I've got nothing more to say to you, wanna. It seemed to even that there were two sides to every story, especially here in Two Town, where even the residents seemed to be of two minds. Here, card enthusiasts and living cards, cards. I got cards here, the greatest cards in the land, from my body to your hands. Yes, but was I born with a store for a body, or did I somehow force my body to become a store? Well, you'll never know because you'll become instantly distracted by all of the fantastic cards I have for sale. <laughs> Oh, I can tell you've got an eye for cards. Always terrific to meet another card of saw. <laughs> Many decks at your service. Yes, of course. It's a combination of card plus connoisseur. It's a portmanteau, you see, which I guess is itself a combination of ports and mantos. Whatever those are. <laughs> Now listen, since you're a fellow connoisseur, and since business is slow, I'm gonna do you a solid, mate. 
Old Manidex is going to give you a lovely binder to hold your cards in. On the house. We'll just need to teach you how to use it. Now then, what with that shiny new binder with all those blank pages in it, you're probably in the market for some new cards, eh? Well, good news! It just so happens I've got the greatest cards in the land from my body to your hands! Ha <laughs> ha! And at the best prices too. Where do I... Oh, mate, if I tell you my sources, what's to stop you from turning your body into a store and setting up a competing shop, eh? <laughs> I ask you. <laughs> yeah, good one, mate. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't tell you the provenance of my cards. Just that they're an amazing deal. Best in random, only in random. Is everyone in my family a store, you ask? Honestly, I think the answer to that is pretty obvious. <laughs> Glad you agree. Then we both agree the answer to that question is pretty obvious. Mate, we're all born one way, and we all decide what we want to do with that. I was born with an interest in trading cards and decided to absolutely lean into my interest in trading cards. All the way, mate. <laughs> Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! No regrets! Oi, oi, many decks here, card in
Oi, oi, Matty Dex here, card enthusiast. Even was beginning to learn a lot about this new part of random, but not, unfortunately, how to escape it. The door was locked. Perhaps someone nearby was in possession of a key. Have you seen the Upside Downtown? I'm building it. The flipped city in the sky. You can't miss it. It's not just me, of course. Lots of construction jobs up there. That whole site was designed by Her Royal Highness, the Queen. It's the ultimate expression of two town. <laughs> Name's Smokey, by the way. Is that what you think we are? A city full of evil twins? Well, we're not. We are a city of halves, and every half is divided differently. Some down the middle, some across the side, some with the little sections here and there that add together to half. Everyone is different. Some call the Upside Downtown a mere distraction, a minor obsession of the Queen designed simply to keep us all busy. You know what those people are called? Good one. No, they're traitors. They're obviously traitors. It's the ultimate expression of Two Town, what it was always meant to be. Two cities in one. It was the Queen's royal robot guards. She had to think fast. She had to roll the dice.
Hey, you. Come here, Etek. Question's not who I am, love. It's who you're with. That six-sided fella by your side. Tell me about him. I don't think he is. I think you got one of them dice by your side. See, most people wouldn't recognize him no more. They've been extinct for so long. Banned by the Queen, and she's got a terrifying black one. The only one left in all the land. Or so she thinks. I'm sure you don't. Having a dice is treason, after all. Be careful out there, love. There might not be many of us left who know what you're up to, but you can't fool everyone all of the time. See you around, kid. So, it does speak. And with the ancient dice tongue. How intriguing. So polite, so stoic. The Queen will like that. I don't know, Dicey, but I didn't like her one bit. You want crispy twigs? Kids love crispy twigs! Chewed food here, smooth and silky. I can cook in there, and all the fire back, and store the bar, steal the bar. Help! Help! I've been attacked by robots! I got a 50% off sale. That's twice as cheap as normal. My stock is twice as good as the competition. 
And they've recently made their star twice as good. So, mine is twice as twice as good. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. That's two items for the price of one. That's a deal specifically made Cellar Street. Don't miss it. Shroud, get your fresh shroud straight out of the tube. That's dinner for two. Oh, cool dice costume, kid. Careful you don't get arrested in it. Get your food here. I've only had dice described to me, kid, but that costume is dead on. Sail on food. The heart of Two Town was even greater, and bigger, and scarier than in the most outlandish stories she'd heard the Junkers tell in One Croft. Hi! Hello! Indubitably, we're twins! We finish each other's sentences! We double each other's happiness! We share each other's husbands. We multiply each other's. Wait, 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 what? What? You said we share each other's husbands. Yep, I don't. You've been kissing my husband? Uh. Oh my God! Two timer! It's double the fun. Please excuse us. We need to talk about this. Sorry. even decided she'd already inserted herself into the lives of the twins quite enough. Hi, I'm Harry Twofold. I love the Upside Down Town. It's a whole second to town. And they're all right. It's a huge mistake. I have always been consistent in this. It sucks. By which I mean, it rules. Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing. But one thing will always remain consistent. My love for the Upside Downtown. It's beautiful and great and... I hate it. Worst idea we ever had. Brilliant in both conception and execution. A disaster in waiting that will... Make everyone happy. To die one day so that they can escape this horrible monster city. And then go to heaven, which will be exactly like the new Upside Downtown. You know, my doctor said the same thing. The getting so overwhelmed with the Upside Downs of this world all the time wasn't good for me. I called him an insensitive low roller and left. But maybe this time, I should listen. That's a spiffy dice costume, kid. <laughs> My grandmother told me about him. Help! Help! I'm being attacked by robots! That is such a creative dice costume. No way, Ronaldo. Are you seeing this? What's a dice? Okay. Have a nice and depressing day.
saved my bacon there, kid. Look, let me repay you with a deal. I'm looking to trade a weird-looking four-sided skull for a gobble -gregor. That'll be just the thing I need to gobble -greg my way out of future robot trouble. What do you say, kid? You don't know what a gobble -greger is? Ah, forget it then, kid. But, you know, do come back if by any chance you happen to find one. Don't know what a gobble Gregor is? Ah, forget it then, kid. But do come back if by any chance you happen to find one. Dice, come on! Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Here's one for free. Syzygy! Shroud! Get your fresh shroud! Straight out of the tube! That's... Spiders for sale and pet school. Kid, oh, I got what all kids crave. To answer your question, yes, business is slow. Sock two packs, one for each of you. It's the perfect pair. I said, you want crispy twigs? Kids love crispy twigs. Nah, I'm sorry. I I'm on break now, and Smokey only gets a little. Food's not nice, unless it's been chewed twice. Who wants some super juice? I That's for sale. Who wants a new pet scorpion? You were all in all over them. Four thousands of new pet spiders doing the same. The two oh. of equivalent amount of work. No, I'm stuck. Artist block. I'd trade my Gobble Gregor for a flash of inspiration. Oh. I'm through Pipkin, by the way. I am an artist, but not with paints or music. My art is the art of trading, and I want to push the art forward. Trading Gobble Gregors is so routine. I want to trade something that hasn't been traded before. Say, you wouldn't be willing to trade for that costume your friend is wearing, are you? I figured. Probably wouldn't fit too many folks anyway. Plus, people have traded costumes before. If you ever have anything to trade, you'll come see me, right? Especially something unusual. Excellent. Keep your eyes peeled.
flavors of super juice. You know street socks. Are your parents around? Bring them back with you and tell them to bring their money. Tired of Master Session? Let me do the hard work for you. I got words for sale here. Choice words. Pluviophile. It means lover of rain. <laughs> That's just a free sample. Who wants to buy a word? I got Cliniomania looking for a good home here. It means wanting... First one's free, kid. interest you in a potion wait a minute I don't know you I only sell potions to my regular customers I don't give out my art willy-nilly you're not from around here are you you must feel lost it would be logical to give her a summary of the town that she finds herself in I was getting to that jeez <clears throat> it would be logical of me to give you a summary of the town you find yourself in. As you may have noticed, we're big into duality here. Even though it has its not unsubstantial downsides. By the card makers, I'm speaking, Jorid! Split personality. Though ours is more unfortunate than most. Jared and I don't agree on very much these days. Yes, though, more by necessity than choice. Don't tell him, but my business partner lacks the imagination necessary to... Imagination? You're a mad scientist! You lack the business acumen, or even the base financial literacy to... Don't start with me, Jorid. As you can see, Jorid and I are in conflict a lot. We want different things in, in business, in life, in love. In that some of us don't want love because it's an illogical distraction. And some of us want to get mad kissy. Also, we are at loggerheads over the direction of our business. But not for long. I am working on a potion to decide this once and for all. The manufacture and sale of potions. It takes science and creativity, which I have. And fact and logic, which I have. Jared here does science by intuition. It's incredible. By which I mean it's literally not credible. You know what? I have had it with your condescending and your precious logic. An emotional and frankly embarrassing response, dare I say, cringe-worthy? Ugh, you two enjoy talking. I'm out of here. La 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 la, can't hear you. La 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 la, can't hear you. Ah, we have a few moments of privacy. There is one thing. That potion I mentioned. I need ingredients to finish it. And I'm afraid time is of some matter because my partner is working on a similar potion. One that will lock me out for good. It's logical, therefore, that I finish my potion first, so if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, 
I would appreciate it. I can barely hear you with these fingers in my ears, but that sounded like a yes? Excellent. I require three bloobs. Unremarkable organisms distinguished by their loud screams. Listen for their sounds and you'll find them. And don't worry about harvesting them for my experiments. My research indicates that it is actually quite ethical and logical for me to do this. I assure you it makes no difference to them. They loathe their existence all the same. All I require is that you find three bloobs for me, and I'll have all that I need. Oh, and there's a mighty reward in it for you. In conclusion, what I've said is highly intriguing, and if I were you, I'd go find those bloobs. Promptly. Farewell, kind stranger. He's gone, yeah? No, no, he's, he's gone. We can talk in private. Uh, listen, before you go, that potion that we're working on, I need ingredients first to finish it. Because as soon as he gets control again, my partner is going to invent a potion to lock me out for good. There's no stopping him. It's logical. So, you know, if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I'd be much obliged. Oh, pff, nobody's going to die. It'll be fine. But I trust you, and you don't need to decide now. Get the bloobs, only give them to me instead of him. Got it? Oh, and uh, there's a reward in it for you. I know, it's so intriguing. If I were you, I'd go find those ingredients to discover what it is. <laughs> Been dealt a bad hand, have you? No, oh, never mind. Trade it in for an. With me, old Manny Dex. And lo, did the number two come to random. And lo, it was good. Oh dear, do I ever shut up? And lo, did the number two inspire all to praise the queen for twice as long. And lo, did the queen bless us with not one, but two towns and two moons rather than simply the boring one. And lo, did my other side have nothing of interest to preach? Some of us are trying to sleep! You can't hear that, can't you? That noise! Uh, dang it! I'm trying to sleep! And that blabbed bloob is up on my roof making a ruckus! Lady, you'd do an old man's heart good if you could see your way to clearing those dang bloobs off my roof. All I want to do is nap. I'm old. I've spent more hours awake than anyone, and I deserve some moments of blessed unconsciousness. Quiet unconsciousness. You'll help me, won't you? I'll reward you or something. Thank you, little one. You've made an old man's heart want to fill with hope. <laughs>
which will happen as soon as this old man's ears are no longer filled with cotton to keep the darn noise down! Please don't dawdle now. I'm very old. Quiet down! I'm old and I'm tired, and I demand you respect that. Thank you, little one. What's the name of the name? Ah, Casnino! Talk him, not a cannony! Oh, it's Kip. Go, get him in the hand. One of my neck, dumb man, like a nest. Oh, get dark at the hand. Oh, Casca, not a cannony. Good dice! Child, there's you! Come closer. You, child! I believe we can be useful to each other. No, nor I you. But the threads of fate weave strange fabrics indeed. You see, I've noticed that you have a dice with you. <laughs> right, a good act, child. You'll need your wits to survive what's coming, I'd wager. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice, which of course you don't, which means you, hypothetically, have experience in their identification and the true nature. I've heard tell of a dice circulating Cellar Street. Of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here. People don't entirely recognize it for what it is. And if these rumors were true, well, I dare say you could be the one to find it. The folks dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique, say, a fossil, not knowing its true value, its true nature. I believe someone like yourself could trade for it, or at the very least, trade up to it. Hypothetically, of course. And if you did hypothetically succeed in possessing such a dice, well, I'd be interested. And I'd make it worth your while. Worth your while, indeed. I've heard stories around Cellar Street. There's all sorts of strange items for trade there. And if you can't find it directly, you could trade until you do. I've told you all I can. Oh, except... Except that I've heard whispers that someone is buying words. And someone else is selling them. And that would be where I'd start. Make yourself useful, child. Trade and trade until, before you know it, you've got your hands on one of those dangerous, awful, deadly dice. And then you give it to me. And I will take care of it. Thank you.
it's a hard business to... My rarest word. <laughs> What do you have to offer in trade? I'm listening. Does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? Adlubescence. Oh, learning it is a pleasure. The breath of the essence sound, the mouth feel of Adlub. Oh, the rarity of it. Oh, oh, this is a word I can definitely sell. Tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to. Oblectament. Close. Oblectament. It means a source of delight. For example, learning adlubescence is an oblectament. Thank you again, kid. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Beautiful. Use it well, kid. Words for sale. Who wants to buy... Word. Here... Not the one. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? Oh, <gasps> that is a beautiful word. Oblectament. I would like some oblectament, please. Yes, it is a good word, and that means it has value. Any anything with value, I can trade. Oh, this is going to be great! Let me compensate you for that word by giving you a Gobblegregor in exchange. They're very futuristic. Perfect. We have a deal. Enjoy it, and be sure not to Gobblegreg too much on your first go. Great, kid.
please, trade the Gubblegregor to me. I'm sure this skull I'm offering is invaluable. It must be. It's darned old. Thank you. Here, have this, uh, fossilized skull, I think. Strangely four-sided. It must have come from some sort of ancient extinct animal. Big Red dug it up a while back before... Uh, forget it, it's not important. But this has got to be the rarest thing in all of Two Town. Thanks, kid. I got words for sale here. I already traded with you. I'm good for words, but thank you. Enjoy a kid. That's a trade secret. You have the ingredients. Brilliant. That's all I need. Please, pass them over. Remember, you did say you'd give them to me. What? I don't understand. I... <laughs> I knew it! I knew it was logical that you would choose me to be the dominant personality! That is what you want, isn't it? Good! Well, all that remains is to mix the ingredients, drink the resolution solution, and... Huh. I feel... different. B better? Uh, different. Definitely different. D d don't feel bad! This was the logical course of action. Now, it's only fair that I give you this. The promised reward. It's my partner's personality, distilled down to its pure essence. I hope you treat him well. I never could. He deserves more. He deserves better than I could give him. He deserves... <laughs> Listen to me. As if being sentimental is logical. Thank you for your help. Thank you again for your assistance, then. Let me see that. By the card makers themselves, this is a dice. Or oh, rather, it was a dice. Oh, if I had such power, child, I wouldn't be lurking here, talking to strangers. No. No, it wasn't me. The queen destroyed all the dice, child. Well, almost. I want to say thank you, child. It's been so long since I've seen a dice, even one that's dead like this. That alarms you, doesn't it? Yes, dice can die. We found that out in the No Dice War. Consider me a, a concerned bystander. The Queen Child decided that she should be the only one to wield the dice. And so she waged war on them and on those who'd wield them. And she did not show mercy in victory. If, when, she finds out there's still a dice, and still a wielder, well, she will be apoplectic. And she is not to be toyed with. What happened here, she'll do to you and your friend here. It's not a threat, little one. It's an observation, gleaned from hard-earned experience. Hypothetically speaking, that 
is. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. As for this poor dice, I'm going to return it to where it belongs, to the sacred valley of the dice. <laughs> I suspected as much. There are some of us who remember the old ways, child. We must stay hidden, and we must stay silent. But we exist. The valley is hidden, far below random, and far from the Queen's prying eyes. It's a crypt, a land of the dead, forbidden to all but a few will remember. I'd wager you don't fully know what you travel with. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you are. Goodbye, child. Take care and random rules. Good luck, Dice Wielder, and you too, Little Dice. Behold, the door to Three Town. Alas, the door was sealed shut, and only a roll of a three would open it. But Evan's friend was one dot short. He could only roll a one and a two and even would have to find a way to upgrade him. <laughs> Strange. What's up with these little guys? Well, I wonder if they could fix you. Though Dicey was affecting Incoming the giant board game.
Sloan's time has appeared. We are nearing the final round. The board game is about to end. <laughs> 